Hi everybody, it's Marcy, and I'm here to work on my country store journal some more. Uh, this time I'm working on a, what's it, what's it called? Double Tuck Ensemble with three cards. Uh, I'm using an envelope, so <clears throat> I'll fold this. over a page, glue this down, put a card here, a card here, and then I'll have a card inside the envelope. So this envelope I had started messing with yesterday. I, I put some, started out with a coffee dyed envelope and then I put some stamping on it, which is a required element. And then I took some of my Distress Oxides. I think I used Vintage Photo, Frayed Burlap, and a little bit of Barn Door, and just messed it around, gave it a little bit of color. Now I want to I want to use this. piece of this napkin, but I'm not going to Mod Podge this. I'm just going to put some glue in about the area. down. Looks like I missed a little spot. All right, and then I've got a couple of little uh torn off pieces just to Add in a couple of other spots. And let's put one up here. down here just got the main bird so now I just want to add a couple of other little torn off little scraps just okay Do it. Let's see. It will add just kind of randomly add a couple to this side just to carry it on through. Have any more little scraps torn off? Maybe we can come down here and get this little bumblebee for a little added interest. Oh, 
I hope everyone's doing well today. This is the uh, the only elements I have left that I need to make after this. Uh, are my signature ties, my fancy closure, and my collage page. But I wanted to do my collage page after I had, well, my signature ties and my fancy closure I'm not ready for yet. All right. But my collage page, I wanted to wait until I had everything else done. Alright, so I need to trim that a little bit. Should I put a little piece on the flat, maybe, even though it'll go to the background because I've got something else I need to do on the flap. All right. Wanted to get this part done first and then I will move on to the next step because I want to give the glue a second to set up and dry. Alright, so I'm going to set that aside and let that dry for him, let the glue get all dried up for a second. And hang on, I forgot to grab my flower that I need for this one. So let me grab that and I will be right back. Okay, I'm back and I've got my little white flower. I'm gonna color with my barn door. I apologize that it is so shadowy in here today. It is cloudy and just keeps getting darker and darker. As I'm recording this, it's noon and it just keeps getting darker and darker and darker. I'm just waiting for the skies to open up any moment. All right. So I've got my little flower colored. Fine, get my fabric tack. I'm going to put my flower down there. Upper tack a second to grab. Let's use that instead of my fingers. Maybe that in my fingers. Now oh, it's got it. All right. Now let me grab one of my little 
pearl pieces just put down in the center set that aside for a second and <clears throat> I've got these two I use two vocabulary cards and just put some napkin over the uh, top of those and then cut used my tag punch to give them a kind of a Hopper. So I'm going to ink around those. And I just used the, I'm not even covering the back uh, just because you can't actually still read uh, and I tried to pick a couple that at least kind of, sort of, not really went with a, sort of a country store, oldy, rustic-y type journal. And I picked itinerant, itinerant. Itinerant teachers were common in days gone by, going from place to place, itinerant. And then indigent, which isn't a great word, but I liked the sentence they used it in. An, indig an indigent farmer was given help by his neighbors. And, of course, indigent means poor or needy. But I liked the idea of people helping people. Okay, so now just to give these a little bit of security, I'm going to stick a whole reinforcer on the back of each of these. I use, I take a whole sheet at a time and put vintage photo over them so that they're ready to go whenever I need them. And there's the end. Cut a little bit of this. Yep, cord. I may have cut it too short. My fat fingers. Where'd the other end go? All right. Oh, no, it did. It did get it. Okay. So just push that through. Just a little bitty. Let's 
something to grab onto for the tag. And made that one, this one, just a little bit longer, so. Hopefully be a little bit easier for me to work with. All right. the hole. Okay, so there those are. And then for my third card, because I also need book page. Let's be sure I've got this right. Book page flower stamping. Okay, so I'm going to use one of the cards that I made in my last video. Uh, where you can see, where's the other one? I did indeed go ahead and round the corners and ink around the edges. I added some paper on the back, and then I stitched around them. So, I tell you what, that stitching seemed to actually kind of draw them all together. So, I think I'll use this one. It's got the book page on it, so I'm good there. Everything feels good and dry. So really, that's it. So when this goes in my journal, this will go in like that. And then, like I said, this will go over a page. Like that. And I'll have a little tag there. And a little tag there. So there we have it. That is my, what's it called? <laughs> Double Tuck Ensemble with three cards. So that's it for this video. I think uh, my collage page, I'm not going to do a video on because there's no need. I may do a video on the cover, I'm not sure yet, but I'm ready to start putting my journal together. So that's it for now. Uh, stay safe or be safe, stay healthy, and happy crafting, everyone. Bye bye.